Let me give general instructions. Now, please listen to the instructions carefully because it will be difficult for me to repeat it all over again. So let's understand this very carefully. Uh, what usually what we do at the organization, uh, especially for the CLT group, is we every teacher who comes at the institution for certificate in English language teaching, they are supposed to um, present a hundred marks teaching practice lesson. Okay, you must have done teaching practice at your BA. So here also we have a teaching practice which is for uh, peer teaching is what we do. All right. Now, considering the large number of teachers over here, we cannot have individual uh, peer teaching in the class. Instead, like how you had been divided into different groups, like five groups you were, and you made presentations of your lessons at different groups. Simultaneously, this is how the group division would be done. Okay, where where in the particular group there'll be uh, you know um, if there are five groups, then five simultaneous groups would be presenting their lessons, like how you did your your article presentation. Okay, now. Yes. What we will do is, besides individual presentations, in order to reduce the number of uh, presentations, and because there will be uh, around 20, 21 presenting simultaneously, so there will be a huge number. So in order to balance that number, what we will be doing is, each group uh, will be divided into subgroups. Okay, So each group will be divided into subgroups comprising of four members. Let's say, for example, here we have Abdul, Abdul Razak, sir, Amala, and... Uh, Ramesh and, and Anu. Suppose uh, in that particular list, you all are the uh, numbers coming in a row. Okay. So what we will do is you will be clubbed as four members in a group. So each four of you have to present one particular lesson. Listen that carefully. In group one, if there is a group one, the group one will have total will have only four to five lessons at the most. Every group will have a subgroup. Okay. And the subgroup will comprise of four or five individuals at the most, or three or four individuals at the most. And these three or four individuals will have to, these three or four individuals will have to have to present one single lesson. Now we will be giving you which less uh, topic, because that way the repetition is avoided. To avoid repetition of the same topic, we generally allot you the component, text selections, idea selections, is again, individually, uh, it is your choice, okay? Put off your camera, Vargis, sir. Vargis, sir, switch off your camera. Or the screen becomes very small. So each group into subgroups comprising of four members. The time allotted for each subgroup is 25 minutes. So you will have 25 minutes to teach that particular component. Okay. So the members of each subgroup will have to share different stages of the lesson plan. The stages of the lesson plan I'll explain to you later. If anyone is absent, the rest of the members need to manage the TP. Now, usually from our experience, we see that some of them are absent, some of them are not able to, you know, attend. So at that point of time, adding new members will be a problem for us. So the members who are present at that particular time, they themselves will have to completely present the entire presentation. Okay. So I'll repeat again. There'll be your whole five groups that you are in already now or four or five groups that you are now, you'll be further subdivided into four, four groups of each. For example, in group one, you'll have uh, four members, four, 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 like that, it'll be distributed. In group two, four, 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 like that, group three, four, four, group five, four, four, like that, subgroups would be created in each individual groups, okay? And each individual group is supposed to share their uh, share the lesson plan components and teach. So lesson plan will usually have as per our as per my lesson plan here, which which will comprise of introduction. Introduction is generally how we introduce a topic. Okay, as all of us are aware of, do not ask me, madam, how to introduce. You have been teaching for a very long period of time. So either you are taking any topic, you have to introduce that topic for about five minutes. It should not exceed more than five minutes. Followed by that transaction. Transaction is where you will teach that particular content, content or discuss that particular content. Okay. 
After the discussion of the trigger, reinforcement is where further revision is done, more exercises are given on the content itself. And then the fourth stage is a creation stage. Creation stage is where you will make it slightly creative. Right? For example, let's say if you are uh, um, teaching a poetry or something like that. At the end, maybe there is a small creative exercise. They will write a poem or they will have a dialogue exchange. Anything that is uh, more of a performance based, for example, a small discussions. Okay? So based on that, you will have to have a creative exercise, an extra creative exercise, but centering on the same thing. So you have four stages, introduction, transaction, reinforcement, and creation. Okay, creation and perform. Then final stage, the homework stage. Uh, okay. Take the stage. 25 minutes time is allotted for each and should also be shared among the team members. So this 25 minutes have to be shared among the your team members. Group one will do the introduction, five minutes. Transaction, 10 minutes. Reinforcement, maybe another uh, uh, five minutes and creation another five minutes like that you will have to distribute short short you will be uh, graded overall okay overall performance of yours individual maybe your language your uh, you know a little bit of that but overall your whole team's effort is what will be considered okay uh, for gradation 25 minutes a time allotted each should also be shared among the team members for reading, listening, speaking, and poem, take any just okay. So this you will be given different components. Let's say uh, reading, listening, speaking, poem. Okay, these are the components that will be given to you. Uh, wait one second. Let me just quickly show you the lesson plan so that will be clear to you. Okay. So as I was telling you, lesson plan will comprise of four stages. For this class, you might have many stages, but more or less everything is the same. So you'll have, I will share this, I will, uh, your coordinator will share this in your group. So the lesson plan, the front page, and these you have to mail it to your, uh, the day before your uh, teaching practice, you will have to mail your lesson plan to your respective mentors. Okay, so the madam will tell you who is the mentor for group one, who is the mentor for group two, who is the mentor for group three, she will let you know. So, first page will have the name, the state. It can be if there are uh, four participants, different state, mention all the states, roll number, no need, I'll delete that. Lesson, which topic that has been given to you, either reading, listening, speaking, grammar, what is given to you, okay? And language skill, the main, uh, uh, are, are, are they able to write, listen, what is it that you have to write? Lesson here means a topic, sorry. Lesson here means a topic, whether it's uh, letter writing or whether it is a prose, that is what you should do, okay? Level, which class? Mostly I would, since all of you are high school teachers, so take high school as a level. Duration, 25 minutes. Assumption here means, what do you think is the level of the children at which you are teaching this? In terms of the language expertise. Hmm? Are they able to, will they be able to answer to you or not? Will they be able to write or not? That is what you will write as a pre, uh, prerequisite. Hmm? Then objectives, overall objectives of the lesson. Then you will have the introduction. So next page will comprise of introduction of any topic. The topic, serial number, what does the teacher do? What is the learner activity that we know? Teaching model here means your classroom management technique. That are you doing this activity in a pair work or a group work or individually? Now this is important. Most of the time we... Uh, <laughs> Most of the time we do only individual level. Okay. So your teaching model, again, don't ask me what is teaching model. Teaching model refers to how have you put a Raju sir, mute yourself. So teaching here means introduction to the lesson here means whether you are going to whether individually children will respond or you are doing in pair or group, that is what you have to mention. Then the time frame, how much time for each for this five minutes, okay. Followed by that is a transaction of the main lesson. What activity, if you are doing a prose, what, how you are discussing, are you making them read and having a discussion, what is it that you are doing? Teacher activity, learner activity, model, is it individual reading, group reading, pair reading, what you are going to do, that's the model that you should do. And teaching material, handouts, pictures, whatever you are using, time another 10 minutes. Okay. Followed by that will be the reinforcement. Reinforcement is again... Asking higher order questions, okay? 
asking them more in detail about the same like revision kind of a thing that you do you have a revision exercise reinforcement is usually a revision of what you have done hmm? so teaching practice again activities suppose you are teaching let's say you are teaching a grammar lesson okay and uh, you are teaching them uh, uh, let's say um, um, degrees of comparison suppose you are teaching degrees of comparison right and then you can begin uh, your entry activity with showing some pictures or something like that showing them variations of different degrees and suppose and then if you are doing the actual teaching that that's where discussion of the rules elicitation of the rules all that comes into play that is the stage of uh, transaction stage of reinforcement is where you will give them further exercises practice okay practice teaching material time and all it's given to you next you will have uh, creation of perform is where you will do a lot of um, other activities on um, degrees of comparison so there are a lot of worksheets interesting worksheets that you will find right so worksheet where you where you have to use degrees of comparison make some sentences use degrees of comparison and do a discussion like that is what you will do on a create and perform and again teacher activity students activity role model this is and then finally your homework Now, whichever homework that you are giving, it has to be a creative one. It should not be a regular one where they will go and uh, you know do only the question answers. It has to be something creative. It has to be something interesting and engaging. Okay, so this is what you will uh, do as a lesson plan. Any anybody has any questions uh, till this one, and otherwise I'll move ahead with the other instructions. Anybody has anything to ask? Ma'am, Dr. Ma'am, you have mentioned. introduction to the lesson yeah and a uh, second one uh, i didn't get actually so sorry third one, second one is a transaction 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 is where you actually teach could you please show okay. the slide ma'am transaction yeah here also it is the introduction then transaction yes sir uh, but wait. i didn't get the slide uh, for transaction okay. Yeah, this is a transaction. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Anybody has any questions on these? Whatever I have said well. so far. Other things I'll tell you later. Anything Hello. Excuse me. What madam. I have explained. If you have any questions, madam. let me know. Sir, excuse madam. me, madam. Hmm. Transaction means the main theme of the lesson, isn't it, madam? Ah, uh, transaction is the main idea of the lesson. Exactly. Main idea. Main idea. Main idea. Okay. Correct. Thank you. Yes. Any any questions? Madam, madam, madam. Madam, we have uh, teachers from different states, and we have different textbooks also. No, you can take any text because we cannot divide you in terms of state. That will become very complex. So you can take any general text and teach it. That is because anyway, I am giving a fixed uh, lesson plan. We are just. learning some new ideas that's all right madam then the components of uh, four teachers will be different and will not be connected to each other no 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 each teacher will take only one lesson okay the whole four of you should take only one lesson that's what i'm saying madam yes madam uh, these four teachers should take only one lesson and we have to divide the, these four components to each other exactly correct correct okay thank you madam So you, it's up to you to take any lesson. Either you take from Telangana, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, general text, anything. But I will give you what you should take. Okay, the component I will give you. Okay, madam. Thank you. Madam. Tell me. Sir. Hello, madam. Hello, hello. Tell me. Hello, madam. Uh, say Hi, something Hi, about. Ah, uh, say something about reinforcement uh, stage, madam. Yeah. Okay. Reinforcement stage is where we will do our activity. there has to be some kind of interesting exercise activities that you have to make them do it is more of uh, application based question application based exercises okay 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 madam thank you something creative work because till revision most of them do only till revision after that maybe some uh, you know some creative exercise that on that particular idea that they can do that is what you need to think of thank you okay yeah Right. So I'll move on to the next slide. Madam. Madam. Tell me, sir. 
mode of transaction is actually differs from one state to another state man here what are the different steps we are following in our state the same will be continue or any stipulated no, no, format this, will this be step, given this step this step enough this step more or less it is same madam so better same. post one full fledged lesson plan in the group madam so that we can understand more clearly yeah yeah i'll give i'll send you the whole lesson plan is here full fledged is here wait okay madam one second uh, yeah Yeah, this is a full-fledged lesson plan. Okay, I have to put them in. Please post it in the group, madam. Please. Yeah, yeah, I'll do that, sir. I'll do that. Don't thank worry. Thank you. Thank you. Only discussing now. Yeah. Hmm? Okay. Any other questions on this? We'll move on to this. Any doubt on the steps? Okay. So let's move on to the and then yeah, let's move to the next slide. Right, so as I told you, uh, each teacher will have to share the component teach. So teacher one in group one will do introduction, teacher two will do transaction, teacher three reinforcement, teacher four creation, and homework is also anybody can share whoever's got the less less uh, time. Okay. and every lesson you have to be very particular about the time 25 minutes should not exceed more than that uh, you have to fix it with 25 minutes 5 5 when is this going to be right? yes now when is this going to be ah uh, that and all will be later those are later questions anything you have on this you ask me that you will take time anything on this what i have asked that will tell yeah that you will be that will be intimated to you later Okay, so yeah, we are getting just a, just twenty five minutes. We can take just a part of uh, a lesson, right? Right, ma'am. I mean, uh, from a chapter, we can just take one or two. Yes, exactly, exactly. Yeah, right. one short component. If you are taking a prose, okay. one small paragraph, poetry, okay, maybe one small part of the poetry. Yeah, just okay. a small part. Okay. Right. So, for reading, listening, speaking, and poem, take any lesson. So each. four groups what we will do is maybe usma madam will share this list to you later so let's say group 1 will be doing a reading exercise group 2 group uh, sub group 1 might do reading okay so let's say sub group a group 1 sub group a will do reading sub group uh, b will do listening sub group 3 will do speaking listening and speaking okay sub group 4 will do book poem sub group 5 will do prose sub group 6 will do a grammar so like that uh, in one particular group there'll be different uh, language components that will be distributed okay so take any lesson of your choice preferably from your text so you can decide what to take okay listening speaking you can take any text and could be narrated or read aloud so that the listening is clear now especially if you are doing a listening exercise and you are taking a prose or anything you should not show the text in the beginning itself this is mostly oral comprehension followed by that the, the lesson could be discussed and then speaking exercise can be generated on that particular topic reading reading just take yeah, as i said just two or one or two paragraph of the lesson authentic materials now what we have done in this lesson plan is uh, we are only used to teaching you know prose poetry but here in this class we will also try to include other materials like say for example advertisements let's say a small uh, uh, video or a small you know a small film a story short story a small interesting animation which would also be used as a source material most of the time we only uh, use stories written stories but we can also have as i said a video story and that will be your uh, that will be your main resource for you to teach okay so it it could be an advertisement it could be some wrappers it could be a short video it could be a small uh, you call that uh, a small commentary so all these also will be a material okay a, a component that you will be teaching and the steps can be similar to that of teaching of reading the, the steps that you introduction and transaction all of these will, for example let's say you have a video let's say the video is about about an animal you know animal uh, animals life survival or something like that hmm? so you can have introduced by showing them the pictures or having a discussion on that followed by that you will show a small video this particular video 
transaction is where the main lesson will be dealt so under the video you will have you will have a discussion on that based on that all right and a question and answer session can be given and if you have a small you know you don't have to use the reading material here if you don't wish to or if you want if you want to use only video as a source of teaching that is also absolutely fine after that you can ask them to write a few dialogues that they have understood from this video whatever they can remember they can summarize and write that that can come as a part of your uh, what do you call that mm, uh, reinforcement stage okay and then at the at the final creative stage you can ask them to uh, add new new characters you can ask them to talk about any interesting other stories that they know like that you have to add on the writing you ensure the students are involved in writing some original rather than mere copy now again writing exercises you might have to write a paragraph you might have to make them write a small essay or a short story anything could be given to you okay now <clears throat> whenever you are making them write again few similar steps have to be followed in this as well take a theme okay for the writing maybe you can have a short discussion on the theme that you want them want them to write a story suppose you want them to write a story on on uh, on story about story about a childhood days a story about you know uh, what do you call that maybe going on a different planet or something like that whatever comes to your mind right so here again you might have to uh, give them basic uh, maybe show a small pictures or probably you can have a short discussion or narrate a short story interesting one and say why do we like stories followed by that you you might show them a small sample of sample of the story a sample of the story uh, and then have a discussion and then they may be asked to write so writing again paragraph similar as you have always done grammar ensure that all the stages are come are incorporated okay so as i gave you the example of degrees of comparison that can be done madam yes. madam yes. yes tell me if you want if you want to show a video can we are we allowed to share our screen madam yeah you will have you will be given this uh, google meet google oh, meet so you should be able to share so google meet madam we have to share yes not there you have to share the big blue button madam not the big blue Uh, the teaching practice will be on uh, Google Meet, madam, or big blue button, madam. Mostly, I think we will do it on uh, this one, Google Meet, because the problem with the uh, big blue button is it's very difficult to upload. You have to upload your PPT, then again share. That takes consumes a lot of time. Whereas uh, in uh, Google Meet, you can straight away, uh, you know, share. Yes, straight away, uh, we can share our screen directly. Correct, correct, correct. That'll be easier. Hmm. Uploading and all is not required. Okay, madam. Okay. Yeah. So you can share your PPTs. Anything that you can share directly, yes, that's share. What, that's what I'm asking you. You can share, sir. You can share. Thank you, madam. Each individually, yeah. Each individual group will be given a will be sent a, a Google Meet link. Okay. The lesson needs to be taught by integrating the skills uh, on faculty orientation day. There, there's an, another faculty orientation day on the next day. So you'll be oriented. how to go about what to be you know individually your mentor will orient you how to go about okay and um, you know in the orientation only one teacher will share the gist okay the gist of whatever you have yeah okay this can google meet will be shared to each and they have to present their lessons uh, using the link as i said if you are using ppt one single ppt now again one single ppt one single lesson plan there should not be more than that okay as i said one lesson plan four of you will not send separate ppts somebody in the group has to concise it consolidate it and make one single lesson plan one single uh, ppt you might work separately okay teacher one might do the introduction teacher two might do the transaction teacher three might do the reinforcement teacher four might do the creation and perform but you will combine under submission of the lesson plan you will one teacher has to combine it all together and share it uh, yeah send it to the respective members of the faculty on that day you have to during orientation you have to ask them their email addresses and send it the ppt should not exceed more than 10 to 15 minutes depending upon the time frame if 25 minutes are there ensure even if you are taking more than 15 slides ensure that you finish within the 25 minutes of time 
so that we are not encroaching others on others time and we finish it quite peacefully ppt you can switch on the camera and, and if in case you don't want to use the ppt that is also absolutely fine you can do it with just by switching on the camera or just by already talking also you can present your ppt that is your lesson that is not an issue okay yeah as i said uh, in your group you should have to make one person as uh, sir was asking me just a while ago uh, your you will have to make the one person will be the presenter and that presenter can have whoever has a good network connection whoever has a good laptop uh, you know facility that individual can take the role of the presenter and she or he can change the slide and help the other teammates to run the class you need to send your lesson plan to your respective faculty name the lesson plan as your your group number sub uh, sub group if group number is 1 sub group ab what uh, the number that is given to you and you write lesson plan and send that this is important because then it will be easier for us to you know ev evaluate and check as i said one lesson plan to be submitted by the sub group you can play youtube video or youtube link anything you have to share what the sub groups are presenting yeah now this is important in your group where the others are presenting the rest of them will have to act as a uh, students okay and you have to be there for all the five days uh, sorry uh, for two one day or two day how many ever days you are there just because you don't have your lesson plan today does not mean you will not participate okay so every to whoever is not uh, presenting on that particular day the rest of them i rest of them will have to act as if four of them are teaching remaining 10 15 will have to act as students and participate it's like peer teaching but we are doing it online mode uh, yeah and one more important point is do not send your ppts and lesson plan by whatsapp the whatsapp is a very small medium we will not be looking at it as said you don't have to send your ppts at all okay only a lesson plan is what you need to send by email and other doubts and clarification if you have regarding your own individual lesson plans you can ask your uh, ask your particular mentor okay yeah so your date i cannot tell you now it will be informed now, i think somebody has already asked me that avoid asking the same question so you will be uh, you will have your time will be informed when it is informed you will get to know that about the time any other questions you have related to this particular points that i have said so far <coughs> any doubts anybody has so usma madam would be sharing the list okay uh, who is included in which group who is in which group which sub group she will let you know and what component to be added she will let you know madam we will form the group we will form the group and give it to you sir group will be group will be formed by us and the group list will be sent to you. sent to you. group list will be sent okay probably you'll get maybe you'll have it only next week but you will not get a lot of time you have to manage it within the short time excuse me ma'am tell me sir uh while we are presenting the lesson plan madam uh, who me, who will sir? act as a students ma'am the rest of the teachers and in the, the class will act as students yeah uh, the the remaining groups will act as students is it right remaining groups or remaining members see like for example you oh. had uh, five groups for your article presentation right yes ma'am ha huh. so individually you will be in the same group so in that particular group in, in day 1 suppose if uh, If, if day one there are, let's say in one group you are twenty of you or fifteen or twenty of you, so they'll be subdivided. 
in one day maybe four lessons or five lessons will be present five lessons is four for 16 of them will present on day one another 16 will present on the next day okay ma'am understood yes so 22 22 of you will be divided for two days so let's say 20 of them will present on day one another 20 will present on day two so that 20 again is subdivided so let's say four four five five in each group is that clear yeah ma'am thank you okay right all right then I think that's how I will share. Yeah, I'll ask. Madam Madam will be sharing. She's your coordinator. So all these clarifications which you have, you will have, it will be sent to you in your, uh, yeah, so this is how the lesson plan will look like. Stage one, stage two, stage three. Let me enlarge. Stage one, stage two, stage three, stage four. These, generally we are doing all of these. You might be doing all of these as well in a different way. Lesson plans are not very different. But uh, activity is what you need to add at the end. Some production exercise, either in grammar or anything, you have to add some production exercise at the end. Application-based exercise at the end. Okay. Time means uh, 5 minutes plus 10 minutes, 5 plus 5 minutes plus 5 minutes. Isn't it, Timing. 5, 10, exactly. Five, 5, 10, 5. Yeah, 20, okay. Okay. 15, 25, like that. You see the okay, man. Okay, thank you. Yeah. So keep it. So don't plan much to the point. Short, short, short. We are here. Our objective is not to make you see how to see how well you have planned, and giving you a small chance. The large number we cannot have individual presentation. That'll consume a lot of time. So our objective is to see how well you plan and how you can do it. You know. Uh, uh, how well you design your lesson plan that's what and we will be giving you feedback as well later as to how to improve and most of the time when we are doing online teaching our teachers do not know how to interact they do not they have uh, bringing interaction in the class is sometimes i have seen that is lacking so we have to bring in interaction important in our online classes as well okay so like that you have to plan and Okay, is that clear? Right. Okay, then we'll close the class then. Hmm? You'll probably get your date and the lesson plan and the list soon. Lesson plan, I will share it today itself. This All these PPTs and lesson plan will be shared to you today itself. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Everyone.